How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Bill, and welcome back once more to your four files. Hope you guys are fantastic. Hope you all are well. In today's video, we are going to speak about the most credible UFO sightings that are out there. Remember guys, if you do enjoy this content, please make sure to drop a like and a share on it. That would be absolutely fantastic. Don't forget, if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon. Without further delay, let's get into today's video. Many residents of Colorado are reported spotting three glowing dots hovering in the afternoon sky. Witnesses stated that the objects were round and appeared to be glowing white or silver, likely because of the sun was reflecting off them. The objects didn't move, instead they maintained a triangle formation throughout the time they were visible in the sky. As suddenly as they appeared, they vanished from the site. What makes this report one of the most credible recent UFO sightings is that the two local authorities, the Summit County Sheriff's Office and the Brecon Ridge Police Department confirmed that their employers had spotted the flying object also. Although the officers didn't claim these objects were extraterrestrial in origin, they admitted that they were at a loss to explain what these actually were. According to the locals who witnessed the event, many believe that aliens were the culprit. In May 2011, numerous sightings of Midran South Africa began reporting seeing things in the sky. The reports were eerily similar, lending credence to this recent UFO sighting. According to the reports, witness claims have seen anywhere from one to seven orange lines floating in the sky. The witness were alarmed by the lights and started to report them to the authorities. The official explanation for the lights was that the witness were actually spotting evidence of a smaller meteorite shower. Officials claim that with the end of day's predictions that they were circling at the time, people were more likely to become more aware of the residual light, though it was actually a fairly common occurrence can these lights in South Africa be easily explained as meteorites? Numerous people who saw them certainly don't believe so. The witness of the next recent UFO sighting have caused to be startled by what they saw. The place where the UFO appeared is exactly 666 miles away from Roswell, New Mexico, the site of the history's so-called most famous alien facility. In August 2014, people live near Houston, Texas, were startled to see what appeared to be rings of lights in the night sky. Several pictures of the mysterious light made their way to social media, and other residents began confirming that they saw the light too. The highly suspect distance from the Roswell made this sighting incredibly to many, who believe it could be an extraterrestrials in search for the lost brethren. So far, there has been no official explanation for these unidentified objects that shocked Houston. Part of the credibility in many recent UFO sightings comes thanks to modern technology. Most people are carrying phones with cameras everywhere they go, allowing them to cap proof of their extraterrestrial experiences. This is certainly the case in 2014, a sighting in the air above Iran. A passenger in a commercial plane captured a 34 second video of a large saucer shaped flying object, reportedly through the clouds just below the plane. The official explanation is that the object is most likely a government drone. However, the object quickly passes the airliner suggesting that it was moving at a high speed and that a drone is not likely to be capable of. In addition, drones don't typically fly at the same altitude as commercial aircraft, leading many to believe that it was in fact an alien craft that was captured. Several pilots flying over Ireland called the air traffic control to report crafts flying at high speed near the plane. There's nothing showing on either primary or secondary. Okay, it was moving so fast, in fact you can no longer see it, but yes, it did to uh, come up on our left hand side and then rapidly veer to the north, uh, being so bright light and then it just disappeared at a very high speed. And we were just wondering, we didn't think it was a likely collision course, we were just wondering what that could have been. One pilot claimed that the craft he saw appeared to be moving at Mach 2, at twice the speed of sound. Another believed that he was witnessed some sort of a military exercise, due to the high speed and formation of the craft he saw another object making some kind of re-entry. There to be multiple objects following the same sort of trajectory, uh, very bright from where we were. Okay, that's copied, and uh, is there a direction it was going in or anything? Uh, the Virgin 7-6 uh, also saw that in our uh, 11 o'clock position, uh, two bright lights. Roger, that's copied, thank you. Glad it wasn't just me? No, uh, yeah, very interesting that one. Uh, Virgin 7-6, I saw uh, two bright lights at 11 o'clock seem to um, back over to the right and then uh, climb away at, um, at speed, at least from our perspective. Okay, we're passing that on there, thank you. Other pilots didn't actually see the aircraft, but reportedly seeing strange lights in the cloud around them. They inquired if they could possibly see some meteorites entering the Earth's atmosphere. Air traffic control couldn't find any records of the 
indication of either military exercises or meteorites entering the Earth's atmosphere. Because to a number of reports from the pilots, the sightings were taken very seriously. The Irish Aviation Authority believed that the pilots were likely seeing dust of debris entering the atmosphere, but stated that they would take a look into the sighting. There has been no official ruling as of today's date, but many have a hard time believing that the objects that the pilots were described could have been mere debris. A fifth grade student in Kapar, India, made headlines in 2015 when he captured a surprisingly clear photo of what appeared to be a flying saucer. He was out taking photos of the clouds and when he zoomed in on one of the photos, he was shocked to see a flying saucer in the sky. The photo was so clear that many have begun to doubt the authenticity. They believe the photo was in some way doctored to make it look like the UFO was in the sky. However, the boy and his family are adamant the photo is real. They've stated that they're willing to subject the photo to testing, but so far no tests or authenticity have been forthcoming. Here's another case of professional pilots giving credibility to one of the most interesting recent UFO sightings. These sightings took place in the sky of Arizona. A pilot contacted air traffic control to ask if any of the crafts were flying above them. There were seven one Papa Golf, go ahead. And there was anybody at, uh, above us that passed us like 30 seconds ago? There were seven one Papa Golf, negative. Okay. Stop this. It's a UFO. Yeah. American uh, 1095, uh, let me know if uh, you see anything pass over you here in the next uh, 15 miles. <laughs> You don't know if anything passes over? American 1095 affirmative. We had an aircraft in front of you at uh, 37 that reported something passed over him and uh, we didn't have any targets, so just uh, let me know if you see anything pass over you. I, I don't know what it was. It wasn't an airplane, but it was the path was going the opposite direction. It's American 1095. Yeah, something just passed over. So, uh, like a, I don't know what it was, but it's... At least two, three thousand feet above us. Yeah, I passed right over the top of us. Okay, American 1095, thank you. They reported seeing a reflective object above them which were flying around 37,000 feet. This means that the object they saw was flying around 40,000 feet. Another pilot flying nearby saw the exact same thing. The Federal Aviation Administration initially believed that they were either seeing balloons launched by Google or weather balloons or some sort of a military aircraft. However, they were unable to find indicators that any such craft would be in the area at this time. The FAA admit that they are stumped, but alien enthusiasts believe that this is clear. Most recent UFO sightings are relatively harmless, but in this case there were serious consequences at an Air Force base in Wyoming. They experienced a massive power failure. The base houses 50 nuclear missiles, so these weapons were completely offline. For almost an hour, the Air Force base claims that hardware failure were to blame but others working at the Air Force Place have another theory. Several anonymous witnesses claim to have seen a cigar-shaped object flying above the sky at the base before the power outage. They also claim that the power outage was much longer than, a, than official reports claim. It was around 26 hours. The witness state that the object in the sky was unlike anything they've ever seen. Was a UFO to blame for this major issue with the United States missiles? If so, was this initially sabotaged by alien visitors? The implications of the sightings are indeed disturbing. On July the 7th, 2010, China experienced a UFO sighting that had a real fallout. A plane preparing to land at Chochan Airport reported an unusual aircraft in the sky near the airport. Within minutes, air traffic control have grounded all, all outgoing flights and diverted incoming flights to other airports. Both some videos of the object that virtually shut down the airport show it reflecting a golden light and being followed by a comet-like trail. Others near the airport late report that they too saw a bright object streak across the sky. There were many theories about the object including hidden US bombers and Russian satellites. The Beijing UFO Research Society and the Shanghai UFO Investigated Research Center have both agreed to look at the incident. However, no one has been able to confirm what the object was that sent the entire airport into a panic. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure to drop a like and a share, as that'd be absolutely fantastic. I think recently, guys, we've just gone over like, I think it's roughly 161 subscribers at the time of the recording this. It's absolutely just phenomenal. Like, you guys are really enjoying the content. You're choosing to subscribe. And we're nearly at 200 subscribers, which is my second goal to get to, which is phenomenal. So thank you for um, showing your support. It's blowing my mind. Um, remember, guys, if you're new around here, 
subscribe and make sure to ring the bell icons to get notified when I upload. As always, stay safe, stay awesome, and I'll see you in just a little bit. All right, kick back, relax, and grab yourself a beverage. A hop if you want to just bounce to my liver. It's the evidence, as they say, is in the pudding. So show me the money like...